What we found here is a uh, mushroom uh, psilocybin grow operation. Uh, as far as the, the, the quantity, you know, we don't really know as far as the quantity of mushroom. Um, but, you know, they're, they're, they're uh, harvested, or I shouldn't say they're harvested, the spores are matured in jars. And uh, I, just looking at it, I would estimate maybe 300 jars, you know, plus all the equipment it, it, down there that it takes to take care of them and, and, and get them going, you know, fertilizers and, and um, mixes, you know, for the spores to grow in. Um, so the, the product, uh, we, we actually haven't gotten any, to any product yet. It looks like they probably uh, harvested just recently. Well, for me, it's pretty odd. Um, you know, we've called around and, and, and getting information on how to proceed was, was a bit of a challenge. It's not, it's not the most common thing up, up in this uh, neck of the woods, but, you know, it, it does happen and there are other agencies that have dealt with it uh, more, more than we have. So, you know, we've been consulting with them and, and getting advice on how to proceed. Probably like any layperson could go on the internet and, and look it up and, and, and I think the information on the internet would tell you that you know, an 80 jar or so grow up would would be sizable. Um, so, yeah, this is this is pretty enormous, actually. Uh, this jar here, um, you, you see the the base material down here, the vermiculi and the bird seed mixture, and they put the spores in there. It starts to grow. And in this one here, it looks here's the actual psilocybin mushroom. Um, starting to do that and then and then eventually they'll take it out and out of the jar and and it'll actually grow into what looks like what we would all recognize as a mushroom